Hello Gemini, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio, these are my tarot cards and this is your weekly prediction for the week September 19th to September 25th. So for your oracle card we have Tulip which says great passion. Then we have the three of pentacles. Then we have the strength card. And finally we have the eight of swords. Okay, so this is a very confusing message, Gemini. I feel like there's something that you're avoiding, you know. Um, there's something that you desire. For example, in your relationships, you know that there's a level of passion that's missing. And you desire that, but you are too afraid to go after that. Because we have the Three of Pentacles. And I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, this could be like you trying to distract yourself with from the real problem uh, with your work and especially spending time with your colleagues. So because we have the three of pentacles and you see like there are three people discussing a paper. So this is like you trying to distract, find maximum amount of distraction so that you don't realize how you are lacking, lagging this level of passion in your relationships. This could be like uh, either you're, you've just broken up or you desire someone and you think that you cannot get them. And so you're like, again, feeling like this broken self and or you think like you are in a relationship, but then you feel like there's something missing and you're too afraid to say it out loud. Whatever it is that's lacking, I feel like you don't want to communicate Gemini. And that's so bizarre because Gemini is the sign which aces at communicating. So Gemini, if you if there's anything that you've been like trying to mask with your, um, I'm also getting like addictions, and addiction can be like work. You know, there's there's um, there are a lot of studies that prove that children uh, of uh, the child of a person who is an alcoholic and the child of a person who's a workaholic have same mental health struggles and issues. So this is like you behaving in a similar way to an alcoholic. I do feel like maybe there could be like some substance abuse uh, happening as well or you trying to distract yourself from the real problem and instead of like you know finding the courage or the strength to communicate it with a, your partner you feel like let's just you know drink it out or let's just party it out or let's just like let me just focus it all channel my energy into my work whereas a healthy level of distraction is great. I do feel like there's a strong message of you trying to avoid the real situation. Or maybe there's somebody that you know is good for you. Or you don't, you just don't feel like you have the strength to approach them. Because you feel like this other person that you are already in a relationship or you feel intimidated. This could also be like a mother because we have the strength card. This can talk about like a Leo energy, a leadership energy. You might be feeling intimidated by somebody's energies and that is like making you feel paralyzed and you're just unnecessarily overthinking and then trying to distract yourself and like then questioning like why, why do I not feel passionate anymore? It's you stopping yourself from whatever you think you don't have. Um, yeah, like the, the answer is just like, Gemini, you ace at communication. Go and communicate this other side of you that feels lack of passion in whatever you're doing in your relationships or wherever you feel it. So that's all that I have for you for this week, Gemini. I hope that this was helpful in some way and it made some sense and I'm gonna see you again next time. Please don't forget to check out your sun, moon and rising signs as well for a more detailed and a personalized reading.